Antarctica, a land of ice, snow, and silence. But over 190 million years ago, it was something else entirely. A vast, forested world filled with strange life forms, and among them was a predator so unique, so out of place, that its discovery sent shockwaves through the world of paleontology. This is the story of Cryolophosaurus, the cold crest lizard, a dinosaur that flabbergasted paleontologists with its flamboyant crest, a fearsome bite, and a home unlike any other. Today, we explore how this incredible creature lived, what it can tell us about early dinosaur evolution, and how Antarctica was once an ancient paradise. This story begins in 1991, in the windswept peaks of the Transarctic Mountains. Dr. William Hammer, a paleontologist from Augustana College, and his team were braving extreme Antarctic conditions when they stumbled upon something incredible. Fossilized bone protruding from the rock near Mount Kirkpatrick. What they found was a partial skeleton of a previously unknown dinosaur. A nearly complete skull, vertebrae, ribs, hip bones, and parts of the limbs. In 1994, the dinosaur was officially named Cryolophosaurus elioti, meaning cold crest lizard with a species name honoring David Elioti, a supporter of the expedition. This marked the first carnivorous dinosaur ever discovered in the continent, and the first dinosaur named from Antarctica, a groundbreaking moment that reshaped our understanding of where dinosaurs could live. Cryolophosaurus was no small predator. Estimates place it around 6 to 7 meters long, that's up to 23 feet and weighing between 500 to 700 kilograms, about 1,100 to 1,500 pounds. Its long tail, powerful hind legs, and sharp teeth made it a formidable hunter. But what truly sets Crylophosaurus apart is its distinctive crest. Unlike any other theropod, its bony crest ran across the top of its head, just above the eyes, and swept back like an elegant wave some have compared it to Elvis Presley's hairstyle, earning it the nickname Elvisaurus. So what was a crest used for? Likely not defense, the crest was too fragile. Instead, most scientists agree it was probably a display structure used for attracting mates, intimidating rivals, or signaling to others of its species. Its elaborate form suggests that social behavior and visual communication may have played a role even in these early theropods. Cryolophosaurus lived during the early Jurassic around 190 million years ago, a time when Antarctica wasn't frozen. Instead, it was part of the southern supercontinent of Gondwana. The region supported forests of conifers and ferns, thanks to a milder climate. Still, being close to the South Pole meant Cryolophosaurus likely experienced months of darkness during polar winters. How it coped with this remains a mystery to this day. Did it migrate seasonally or endure the darkness like some modern polar animals? We may never know for sure, but its presence here proves dinosaurs were far more adaptable than once thought. Fossil evidence from the area suggests Crylophosaurus shared its world with early herbivorous dinosaurs, like Glaciolosaurus, as well as ancient amphibians and primitive mammals. It likely hunted these creatures using its strong legs for ambush and its curved, serrated teeth to rip through flesh. Interestingly, growth rings in its bones hint that Crylophosaurus may have grown in spurts, slowing down or even pausing growth during the harsh winter months, a pattern seen in some modern reptiles. Crylophosaurus sits at an important evolutionary crossroads. It's considered a basal titanarin an early branch of theropods that would eventually lead to iconic predators like Allosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex. Its anatomy is a blend of the primitive and the advanced. Its skull and teeth resemble those of earlier theropods like Dilophosaurus, but it also shows traits seen in more advanced meat-eaters such as certain vertebral and hip structures. Some paleontologists have debated whether Crylophosaurus represents a unique lineage or a transitional form between primitive and more derived theropods. 
Either way, it's a crucial piece of the puzzle, showing that large, advanced predators by the early Jurassic had already spread across the globe. Its presence in Antarctica also supports the idea that dinosaurs were not limited by temperature or extreme environments, as once believed. Instead, they were global survivors, thriving in habitats from equatorial deserts to polar forests. Cryolophosaurus is more than just a dinosaur with a fancy crest. It represents a turning point in how we understand prehistoric life on Earth. Its discovery revealed that dinosaurs lived and thrived in regions we once thought uninhabitable. From its striking appearance to its polar lifestyle, Cryolophosaurus challenges the assumptions we had about dinosaur evolution, climate adaptation, and migration. It also reminds us that the fossil record is far from complete, and that some of the most incredible stories still lie beneath layers of rock and ice. As scientists continue to explore Antarctica and other remote regions, more secrets may come to light. Perhaps even relatives of Cryolophosaurus, or creatures even stranger than that. Until then, this cold, crested lizard stands as one of the most extraordinary dinosaurs ever discovered. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey into prehistoric Antarctica, give us a like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more ancient adventures. And remember, the past is never truly frozen if you know where to look.